So today we are going to start the process of trying to remove the wart growths out of Glimmer's ears. Uh, they're caused by a virus that pretty much all horses have been exposed to in their lifetime. Majority of them are exposed young, they kick it. You may have heard them called baby warts, dew warts, things like that. Their body reacts to it, they clear it, there's no big deal. Some horses don't clear the virus. They think it's an immune deficiency, things of that nature. And they like to show up in the ears then. A lot of them are just little flat plaques. You may notice some little white colorations and some of them grow out really long growths like um, glimmers are. Problem with that is it makes their ears very sensitive and they get kind of bridal shy, head shy. So what we're doing today is we're gonna start the process of uh, removing those warts stimulate his body to react to the wart virus, and hopefully we'll get those cleared up. Now, reading the research papers, uh, it's not gonna be overnight process. It's gonna take a couple of weeks, may to uptake to a couple months. We're gonna start with one ear today, and if we see progress with it, we are going to then start on the second ear. And with that research, even though this irritates the ear during the process, all the horses in the research study actually showed improvement around their ears, not being as shy about their ears after it was completed. So we'll expect them to look a little worse during the process, but in the end, he should come out better. And those little wart type growths, you can get bacterial infections in there, fungus, cause it likes to trap everything. The black flies like to irritate them. So it's definitely worth the effort of trying to get those out of there to make them not only cosmetically better, but better quality of life on his ears. This is Glimmer. Okay, let's go ahead and take him in the surgery room and everybody just do me a favor because horses do hear tones and voices. So when everything gets really animated, it can cause them to wake up quicker. So just kind of like a golf gallery, you can talk, but just really quietly. So that way, again, not that he's a reactive horse, but it just helps things go smoother along the way. So this first one will just make him sleepy. So he'll just get a little heavy headed and then we'll give him the ones to help him lay down. Yeah, we're fully laying him down just because where he's head shy, it just makes it easier, gives me more flexibility and time to work with him. And we're gonna start with whichever ear he lays down that has upward because both of them are equally as bad. So I'm just gonna let him decide which ear we start with. And this is not a sterile surgery. This is gonna be a clean surgery. I'm just gonna go in and literally just peel off with the scalpel blade. And I'm not intentionally trying to make it bleed, but I'm, if it bleeds just like that a little bit, I'm not gonna panic. He feels it a little bit, just for the fact is his ears are so sensitive to that. That's why it's worth treating it. So no, it's not painful, painful, but he is feeling me moving it around. And again, he's learned that when people touch his ears, it hurts where they've irritated his ears. So he's gonna be more flinchy. I mean, cause they extend way down into the ear canal there, so. But now the good thing is it is species specific on the virus. So it's not like we're gonna transmit it to humans. But again, my concern is that's why I will take off my scrub top, put my other shirt back on so I don't accidentally transmit it off of my clothing on top or anything like that when we get done. And some of these I'm literally just getting able to peel off my hands. Now he would not let me do this standing cause it would be where he's so sensitive about it. Now what I'm paying attention to now is to rake upwards so we don't get anything down in his ear canal. And the way these are so thick, it's kind of hard to plug his ear first. So it's kind of one of those just having to be careful on digging and make certain I rake outward when I get them dug off.
Okay, I am down to his actual, you can see in here where the pink is the margin with the regular ear. The pink is where the warts have been because it tends to take away the pigment. So we are going to dedicate one pair of clippers that are only to be used on him and we will not use it on another horse so we don't spread it by accident that way. Just helps you get down to it. It's kind of like treating rain rot. If you don't get rid of the scabs, you can't get to where you actually need to be at. I'm actually happy how that to brighted. It's just a matter of how long it takes to get his body react where they are not growing back at us. So we're just now going to grab our material. I've made certain there's no gunk down in there. And we are going to do our first topical treatment. This is the, forgive my pronunciation, Imiquid. This is to stimulate his body to react to them. These are designed for human sized packets, so we may use two or three of these today where they're so tiny. But we're gonna make a good coating in the ear. Now this is going to stimulate, so this will turn a browner red as it works. So his ear will look worse before it gets better. So that's something to be prepared for as we're following up with it. Is um, It's not gonna look perfect overnight and it's gonna look ugly in between. Okay, that's got us a nice thin layer over all of that. So we'll see how he reacts in between dosages but that's got at least one layer on all of it. Beautiful, so that was six packets today. How many times a day does he get it? Uh, he only gets it every other day, so that way we don't do it daily, so we'll do it again on Wednesday. So we know we don't have 100% of it, but this will give us a semi-accurate estimate of how much we removed from his ear. It looks better, I mean, if nothing else, so. Biggest thing is, is gonna be watching the regrowth. So we may have some regrowth start as the body's reacting to it. So again, we'll document. That's a good thing about filming it with the cameras and everything. We will be able to follow it along and in the end, hopefully have a nice progression. And now we'll probably never get the pigment back in his ear. It'll probably always be pink like that. So we'd have to watch him for sunburn, a little sunscreen in his ear, things like that. So we are just waiting for Mr. Glimmer to wake up now. I took the towel off his eye to kind of stimulate it a little bit. He's got a little bit of that was we call it the ketamine twitch. So we know he'll be a little staggering when he gets up, but it went really well. The warts actually peeled off fairly easy. I just had to put a little pressure, didn't have to do any actual cut cutting with the scalpel blade. And uh, we took the bag, I'm gonna weigh it to see, cause I mean, there was quite a bit that went all the way down into his ear canal. Uh, you can see where they were versus where they weren't with, they take over, they take the pigment out and it's pink. And uh, we put, applied the cream in his ear. So uh, we'll just keep an eye on him. And again, it's not a overnight process, it's weeks to months. So as soon as we see progress in this ear, we will start on the left ear. We just started on this ear today because I said whichever side he laid down on, whatever top ear would be the one we started on. So it was just luck of the draw, it was the right side. So, but he done well. So we'll see how he does and hopefully by the end of summer, we will have his ears where they're, he's not nearly as head shy and they're not nearly as painful.